Okay, so we're with Chad Lowe on set of Pretty Little Liars, and you are directing today. Tell me how much fun you're having being behind the camera. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm having uh, it's so much fun. You kind of don't want to tell people how much fun it is because uh -huh. it's um, you don't want everybody doing it. Uh, but it's great because this this is the first time I've I've ever actually directed on a show that I also act on. So uh, a lot of nerves going into it, mm -hmm. um, mainly because if I really do a terrible job, I still have to see all the people afterwards. <laughs> so there was a little extra pressure. But I have to say, all, everybody, the whole cast, I, something I always kind of suspected because I don't get to work with the entire cast as an actor, but I suspected and I had heard rumors about what great people they were and how professional they were, and it's all been confirmed. Every, I have had no problems. Everybody has been great. Everybody listens to everything I say, and they do exactly what I want them to do. What's your favorite mystery in terms of what's happening on the show now? Well, there's the obvious, who's A. Um, many people ask me, and for the record, I have no idea who A is. They won't tell me. Oh, they fact, keep you in the dark? I actually yeah. asked Marlene King, who is our creator and, and, and executive producer. I said, Marlene, who's A? Do you know who A is? And she kind of smiled. She says, I know who A is. I said, are you going to tell me who A is? She says, I'm not going to tell you who A is. I don't think I want to know because I'm a fan too. You know, it's, right. Every time I get the script, it's always fun to see where they're taking the characters. And so um, that's one, obviously. And, you know, there's the other one, which is uh, will Byron and Ella ever figure out what's going on with their daughter and Mr. Fitz? Mm -hmm. That's another one. There's, I mean, every storyline has its own mystery. That's what's great is each one of these characters – you know, I mean, it's called Pretty Little Liars for a reason. And there, some of them are lies of omission, and some of them are white lies, and some of them are just bold-faced lies. Mm -hmm. So nothing is as, as it seems in Rosewood. So, okay, so when is, when is your character, yeah. Byron, going to find out that his daughter, Aria, is having an inappropriate relationship with a teacher? Well, we're, the scene we're just directing now, we're kind of um, – uh, a little bit of cat and mouse, and the secret is almost revealed. Mm -hmm. uh, Ella is doing a little – she she saw Mr. Fitz with someone, and there had been rumors about Mr. Fitz having a relationship with the student. And so in the scene we just uh, – I was just directing, there, Aria is, is tr being evasive to the mother's direct questioning about that nature of that relationship. I don't know when. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would I would think probably soon because there will be a lot uh, of fallout, I think. And that will be a lot of fun, I think, for the audience, a lot of conflict for us to play. So I, I would think probably pretty soon. How do you think your character is going to take that? I mean, do you think she'll, you, you won't be as surprised given you kind of had a little bit of a shady past of your own? Well, he, yeah. He, he, uh, Byron made his daughter complicit in his lie, which complicated their relationship from the get-go. Mm -hmm. um, and so now, in some ways, she may or may not be mirroring my behavior, although, uh, yeah, I was somewhat mirroring my behavior. It's, it's the old adage, you know, kids will don't do what you s say, they do what you do. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, you know, it would be interesting to see. I mean, I... I I just – I'm really like to think of myself as an actor who's open to whatever journey the writers want the character to take. So um, I'm really open. I mean, I, he may be very uh, understanding or, or he may be, you know, very uh, offended and upset by it. I'm not sure where they're going to take the character.